All right. Hello, everybody. Ooh, there's a name I haven't seen in a while. All right. The very first game of SNES Timber Clock Tower for the SNES, obviously. Goes without saying, actually. All right. Now this is actually a uh, English translated version. And I have never played this either, so this ought to be nice and scary for me. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends. Ooh, nice creepy music. Wanted as adopted daughters. Yep. Oh. What are the odds? September, Snez Timber, match made in heaven. <laughs> Seems to be a little slow. Uh, ooh, that's actually really nice. Very detailed. Especially for an old SNES game. My goodness, I love drinking pink lemonade. Easily my most favorite drink besides coffee. Uh, yeah, it was a Japanese local only, but uh, I can't remember the people who did the uh, English translation. I can't remember who did it. But I mean, so far from what I've seen, it looks like it was translated pretty well. I mean, I don't see any grammatical errors, at least. Alright. So let's see what we got. Can she walk any slower? My goodness. Alright. Alright, and uh, for anybody that. Wait, what the. Ah, oh, you're kidding. It's one of these. It's a point and click. Oh, shit. I suck at these. Alright, you want to know what kind of guy. Mr. Bird. Uh, for the two of you that are watching this, since you've probably never watched my. Uh, had to finish. Uh, usually I uh, record in about 20 minute segments then I'll stop and then I'll pick back up again about a minute later it helps me edit for uh, YouTube and everything makes it easier on me so yeah just so you know alright so what's this young lady have to say for me Doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Ellipses and question mark. Alright, so is there anything else to do? Can I go anywhere? Yeah, I've never heard a Peasel. Is he any good? Or... What happened to Miss Mary? I don't know. Come on. Please tell me you can move faster than this. This is going to be an extremely irritating game if I can't. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Ah, uh, P. Cole. Okay. Taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? Ooh, cue the creepy music. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so she went this way. What do we got? Anything. 
Yeah, I'll give him a look up. Oh, a scream. I'll give him a look up either after a couple episodes of this or when I'm done. And they just completely disappeared. Uh, Alright. Oh, sweet, I can run. Alright, what's over here? Alright, can I... What's this? Alright, uh, real quick, is my voice coming in just fine over the uh, music and everything? Or, or lack thereof? Maybe they went upstairs. Alright, because sometimes I gotta adjust for each game. Please hurry up. Figures, the one scary game I decide to actually play, and it's got a slow start. Alright, anything over here? Come on, run! Alright, so I can't do anything over there. Let's see if there's anything over here. Any day now. Oh, shit. Okay, that was random. Definitely got a jump out of me. Come on. What game is it, Vorpal? Alright, so obviously since I can't go anywhere over there... I've never heard of it. What system is it for? Alright, let's see if there's anything back over this way. This is interesting. What do we got here? Pile of trash, wood and country, pocketed. Okay. Deep crack in the wall, it's crumbling. Ooh, interesting. I might look that up. I always liked RPG Maker. I couldn't really do anything with it because I didn't fully grasp the uh, mechanics to it. But, I mean, I like trying it. I, I can always come up with stories and stuff for it, but actually putting it into effect, I just never able to actually implement it. Alright, so what's behind door number one? So where's this? The uh, switch is right here. And that is a very creepy picture to have in the back. Okay, she obviously does not like that. Comfortable sofa. Let's, see. Let's check the window. Completely dark outside. What time is it now? No idea what time it is. Right, let's check the mirror. Uh. Oh shit! Get, get off of it! What just happened? Are you... 
Did a hand seriously just come out of the mirror? Oh my goodness. Thank goodness for the continue function. Stay away from mirrors. Mirrors are evil. Oh, sweet. I, I learned I just learned quick run. R1 and L1 respectively. All right. So, what do we got over here? Oh. What do we have in here? Oh yeah, cuz this looks very professional. I, do, I don't care about the water. I want you to open the door. Okay. Let's see, use this. You know, I think I know what it is. That's like a health bar, and uh, as it gets redder, like the room and everything's like fucking up because um, she's going crazy. What the? Oh shit! Dude, get go run. Listen to me, run. I I don't want you to go near him. Video game logic tells me he is a very bad person. Run! To the left! Yeah, it's always something behind the curtain. I have no idea how to escape this guy, by the way. I'm curious if he actually follows me or not, because that'll be an interesting mechanic. Okay, what's what's in here? Door seems to be stuck. Oh, that's not good. Why are you running? Must be because she's scared. Seems that the door's locked. Okay, so. Ah, really? Okay, stop. Stop! Ah! I have no idea how to keep her from running. Okay, okay, try it. go through this door. That's what I'm starting to think. Alright. Well, let's... Ah, I can't turn the lights on. And then... Oh, shit! Where did he come from? I'm going to be seeing a lot of game overs, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just comes... Okay, how am I supposed to do this? Seriously. I, I can't do anything. Alright. Seriously. I really hope I did not just lock myself into a dead end. Oh my goodness. Where where is my screen? 
Did it freeze? Yeah, I think it I think it froze. Shit. Okay, there we go. That was odd. Okay. If I run all the way. Okay, nothing. Shit. Yeah, I can't do anything there. So maybe if I quickly get out of the room, I can escape him. Because I really don't want to start over. Hmm. Alright, so let's back out of here since there's obviously nothing. Oh, come on. Did it freeze again? Damn it. No, not what I wanted to do. There it goes. I don't know why it's freezing so much. Okay, well that was a solution. Okay, avoid tripping. Anything. Ooh, car, car. Go up here. Ah, what do I... Ah, shit. I think he sees me. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe he'll just walk away. Come on, scissor guy, go away. Oh my goodness, this is actually pretty nerve-wracking. Alright, so I think I lost him. I think the music is my indicator. Right, let's check this box. Ooh, a key. Car key. Okay, we have a car key. We have a car. Let's get out of here. You have a car key. Do I have to... Oh. There we go. Yes. I actually did a playthrough of uh, Amnesia. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, uh, great. Well, at least I have my means of escape. Uh, how do I... Alright. So, is there... Can I... No, oh, I don't want you to... Uh, I did not want you to do that. Alright, well, she seems to finally be relaxing, at least. Alright, did I go in here already? You know, I actually forgot I had the rock until I did that. Oh, I see. If he's following you, you can't actually investigate stuff. Okay, that actually makes sense. Iron frying pan. Okay, what we got here? Gas tanks for the stove. Come on, give me a weapon. Give me a 45 caliber handgun so I can shoot the guy. Of course, since she's probably a, 
by the looks of it, just a regular schoolgirl, she'd miss every single shot. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, lovely cockroaches. Ah, shit. Run to the door. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I think this does it for part one of Clock Tower. Oh my word, I, I'm actually enjoying this so far. Alright, so I'll be back in just about a minute or two of part two. So, peace out everybody. I'll see you all in just a minute.